Hi, I'm Derek. I'm Lindsay. And this is our vlog about writing and YA and publishing called Nerd Fighters. Um, and we're really excited to... Use that. Okay. okay, what are we calling it? Um, I don't know. Let's call it something. Uh, so Lindsay wrote a book called... I did. Um, Someday, somewhere. Yes. Um, it's a YA. Ooh, it's a YA it novel. It's sort of like, I don't know, how would you describe it? It's kind of like Minority Report meets um, like McCabe and Mrs. Miller, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, nope. it's like West Side Story meets Alf. Uh, no. There's a furry little alien that they this family takes in, and he's like really dry humor and everything. Everyone's fine. It's a story that takes place in New York City. It's about a 17 year old girl named Dominique, and she lives in Trenton. She goes and sees this group of violin prodigies that go to a conservatory in New York City, and she falls head over heels for the violinist in the front row because he is very cute and he's 17. So she has to kind of lie her way into his life. So it's kind of like West Side Story meets. Um, a Christmas story. Like, West Side Story meets, um... Like, early Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I want to hear about your book. My book is called Scream All Night. Um, just trying to get the best light. Uh, uh, it's about a 17-year-old kid named Dario, and, um, he inherits his family's uh, failing B-horror movie studio, which is set at this castle called Moldavia. And he's gotten legally emancipated from his eccentric family, and he has a future to think of, but suddenly he's like called back to the family fold. And he has to kind of figure out like um, who he is and what he wants to be, and um, you know, does he save? Does he save the family business? Does his family legacy mean anything to him, or does he want to have um, a different kind of future? So it's like. Frankenstein meets Full House? No. Lindsay has said we're not allowed to get lunch until we get the vlog right. right. So six hours in, um, hoping, hoping we're nearing that finish line. And <laughs> we're Lindsay, so close. And Lindsay so has close. said um, that she wants to take questions, uh, even though no one knows who we are or that this exists at all. But we can borrow someone else's question. Why don't we ask a question from JK Rowling's Twitter? Because she gets about 30,000 questions a and day. She's and she's a writer she too, and we can answer questions about being a writer. Yeah. Um, so what's the question? It's Fox. I don't know, I've never read Harry Potter. <laughs> don't tell anyone. Don't <laughs> Wait, tell are anyone. you joking? Yeah, I'm, I'm not joking. I You've never, never have. I never read it. <laughs> it's fine, I'll be fine. I know, I know. I shouldn't even admit that thing to people. <clears throat> Do you have any idea what it's about? Yeah, I, this is like, uh, the vlog just took a really interesting a turn. dark turn. What do you think it's about? <laughs> I know what it's about. You do what? It is. It's about a young wizard, and he comes to school, and he's got magic. And comes he has, to school? He's right. at Hogwarts, Jeez. and he has some friends. I, and I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> Hermione is a friend. He's a Ravenclaw. <clears throat> That's just the... He's a Hufflepuff. No? no? He's not a Hufflepuff. He's a Ravenclaw. You're a Hufflepuff. He's actually, I have a question for you. What? I know. You have a question for me. I have a question for you. What are you doing to get ready for your book release? Um, I'm practicing signing uh, because it's actually, it's tricky. It's trickier than you think. It and, is. Like, thousands of people are probably going to be showing up for these signings. And right. when you sign the book, you don't want to be like, you're no, you don't want to be covered in the, you know what I'm saying? Totally. Because then the, you're going to cut off contact with like your fans. You kind of want to be able to like engage the person and sign. So you're like, hi, thank you for coming. Hi, thank you for coming. Derek, what? No, terrifying. Let me just try it again. Thank you for coming. Um, that means a lot. Derek, like, it's like that. It's too. Thank it's you. like an assault. I, I feel you like you need to. You need to you for... like lower the eye intensity. It's like you come. You're like very intense. Just lower a little. Mm, a little high. More open and then thank open. You for thank you for coming. Open your eyes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Like, yep. And good? then blink. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's better. That's thank a little you. better. I would love um, to practice signing a book now. I wanted to go to um, E. Lockhart signing, but I couldn't get into here. <laughs> I really liked Someday Somewhere. Oh, Can you thanks. please sign it for me? Of course, yes. yes. What's your name? Kristoff. Uh, How do you spell that? A K. K. R. R. Hmm? R. Hmm. I. S. 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 T. Mm -hmm. O. Wait, so, T so far it's K. 
K-R-R-R-I-S-S-S-T-O. P? Yep. H. E. Is that it? O. Christoph. <laughs> Okay, great, oh, Christoph. It was you. so nice to meet I you. I really love Sunday Summer. Oh, thanks. Uh, especially Chapter 4. <laughs> but just that. so we know that there's a lesson here, don't ask what their name is. Just sign the book. Thank you for tuning in um, to uh, Nerd Fighters, no, a revolutionary no, no, no. young adult but, blog. Hey, if you want to ask us a question, uh -huh. just use the hashtag ReallyFamousWriters on Twitter. I'm at Lindsay Champion. And I'm at Derek Nolman. And we'll see you there. Thank you. Good night. Good luck and good night. <laughs> Good night and good luck. Good, and good night, night and good good night and good luck. And also good night. <laughs>